Hello campers, welcome to another beautiful day learning at camp. Happy music week and luckily our standard goes hand in hand with our theme. Okay, our standard is RL 2.4, which is describe how words, phrases supply rhythm and meaning in a story, poem, or song. Okay, in literature we use our five senses. Sight, hear, touch, smell, and taste, okay? So today we have another poem. However, this poem is not a rhyming poem. This poem has a rhythm of a free verse, okay? Meaning that the, re the speaker, okay, just speaks, okay? They use their five senses, but they don't rhyme, which is great as well. Okay, so we're gonna read this poem and then we're gonna identify words that show that the speaker is using their five senses. Okay, so let's start. I hear the music. The music is playing. The music is soft. The music is now fading. The music is gone. No music, no fun. Come back to me, music. The music is beginning. The music is pretty. The music is wonderful. Oh no, the music is fading again. I love the music. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Already in the first line, the speaker is using a, 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 a sense, okay? That sense would be the sense of hearing. They hear the music, okay? Later on, the speaker says, the music is soft, okay? What sense is that? Touch. Except you can't really touch music, so that would be figurative language, something that you will learn later in the future, okay? Are there any more senses in the story? Let's continue looking. The reader says the music is pretty, okay? So if we were to see music, okay, we would be using our sense of sight, okay? Oh no, the music is fading. If you can't hear the music anymore, it's fading, then you are using the sense of hear, okay? And this poem is by Katherine Thompson. Okay, that is it for today, readers. And um, remember to always believe in yourself, and I will see you soon.